Well, still in the United States, congressional Democrats are trying to marshal support for loans to rescue struggling automakers. In exchange, the government will take an ownership stake in the car companies. But as Li Xiang reports, this idea is coming up against resistance from Republicans in Congress. The legislation will carve out $25 billion of the $700 billion bailed out for Wall Street to provide loans to major automakers. Democrats hope to push the measure through during a post-election session of Congress next week. House Republican leader John Bonner opposes any such measure. He knows that Congress had already approved the $25 billion loan program to help automakers develop fuel-efficient vehicles. The big three U.S. car makers, General Motors, Ford and Chrysler say the economic downturn has choked off sales, frozen credit and made them vulnerable. The nation's largest, General Motors, posted a $2.5 billion quarterly loss last Friday. GM predicts that with that government help, cash could run out by year's end. Company executives, labor leaders and other industry proponents are also seeking aid to keep the assembly lines operating. In October, the sales, uh, if adjusted for population, take us back to World War II levels. So this is not just someone crying wolf. This is a serious economic recession, potentially a depression in the auto sector, again, which uh, uh, you know, really spreads out through the manufacturing sector, but also retail sales. But there are calls for the federal government to stay out of the marketplace. They're going to be back asking for more money. I think the best solution is to allow the market to work here. If one of the companies was to go bankrupt uh, and liquidate, prospects for the other two would be much greater because they would have a much larger slice of the market. The White House says President George W. Bush is open to helping the auto industry. However, the administration has expressed reservations about using the bailout money earmarked for the financial sector. An attempt to bail out the auto industry could set up a congressional showdown with the White House during President Bush's final days in office. Is not a hero. CCTV.